Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and although Game Week 19 hasn't yet finished, I'm going to review it anyway and preview my Game Week 20 because I'm not going to get another chance. There's only one more game to go and that's on Thursday and I don't think that's going to make an awful lot of difference to my score or other people's scores as things stand. I got a low score this week but I did predict a red arrow so it's nice to get some things right and I've also had a very lucky week because there are some players that I don't own that are very popular that did bad or rather did poorly. So for example, Mitrovic, a lot of people had him as captain and he got five points in the yellow card so he doesn't get to play a second game. Andreas has got one point so far. Darwin got one. Salah got two. De Bruyne got three. Saka got three. So that's all good for me. The only ones that really stung me was Shaw is quite highly owned, so he hurt quite a bit. And I did think about bringing him in for game week 17, but I got Martial instead. I know it's a different position, but three United players. And Kane. But Kane isn't so highly owned that it hurt me too bad. So because a lot of people that are highly owned, particularly Mitrovic, did bad, I had a lucky week, even though it was bad. OK, let's have a look at game week 19 and see how it went. So we start by looking at the Midnight Mule Mini League. And top scorer this week was BB United, Andre Bulbeck, 84 points. This is incomplete, so some of these scores may go up a little bit yet. And I think we've had Andre mentioned before, so this might be his second time that he's got a mention on this programme, so that's nice for him. And his team, he did play his bench boost. Uh, so high scores for him, let's see. Sure, he had Shaw for 15. He got the Edison Cancelo call right. before For game week 17, a lot of people were deciding, should I go Edison or should I go Cancelo? Because they wanted some Man City cover at the back. I went Cancelo. He's not done so well because he doesn't get played. And Edison's been really good. So certainly if I had neither and I was going to buy one now, I would definitely buy Edison. But there we go. So Shaw, 15. Edison, 8. Trippier, 8. Kane, 16. So Rashford, 8. So pretty good all over there. Captain Harland, but most people captained Harland, so that didn't really matter that he did poorly. Then on the bench, because he bench boosted, Saliba got seven. Andreas is still to play a bit more, so he might get another couple of points. Maybe more, because Chelsea are quite shocking just now. Top of the league at the moment is still Jacob Eriksson with Skog's Lantern IF. Currently on 11.98 points. And his team is, let's have a look, Trippier 8, Rashford 8, Kane 16, Shaw 15. So quite similar to Andre's team, I guess, in some ways. Again, captained Haaland. Nobody worth mentioning on the bench. So got the bench call right. So that was very good. As for me, I'm way down in 50th. So uh, that's exciting. <laughs> so there I am on 10.56. Uh, obviously, James didn't play. I'll have Dunk coming in for two points there. Nothing special at all. Rashford 8, Fernandez 6. And they scored right near the end of the game. Or rather, Rashford scored. Fernandez got their assist. So that was looking for... It was looking like it was going to be an awful week for a while. But then right near the end, that was nice. Trippier got eight. And that's pretty much it. And then I got Kepa's going to play against Fulham yet. Is he going to get another two, three points, maybe six or seven? We'll see. I had Sterling as captain and he went off after four minutes, which was very funny. It cost me a transfer. It's going to cost me another transfer now to get rid of him. Now, he's not definitely ruled out and he's still not flagged in the system. And he's going for a second scan. So there's a very remote possibility that he may come on for another four minutes in the next game. Who knows? And get me another two points. Uh, my bench, so I've always got Dunk coming on. Now, Dunk was on for a clean sheet until right, it was about 90-something minute, I think, where they conceded a penalty. So he almost got me six points, but he got me two. So 35 points, game week rank of just inside the 8 million. So really quite poor, but perfectly funny. So that's good. Um, there I am, just outside the 1.7 million mark with this incomplete game week. A red arrow, but as I mentioned, predicted red arrow, so that was good. Some managers went for the double game week hard, whereas I didn't. I just had Sterling and Kepper who had double game weeks. So I'm now 28 points from 1 million and only 9 inside the 2 million mark. But I'm kind of expecting a green arrow for this game week, game week 20, so... Hopefully I'll edge closer again to 1 million. 428 subscribers. Thank you very much. That has shot up. Uh, when I started the channel, I was hoping if I could get to 500 by the end of the season, that would be pretty good. So 
that only leaves another 72 and we've done it so I'd be very happy and I've no idea why I said we've done it <laughs> a lot of content creators keep saying we I don't know why I think they work on their own FPL game week content creators league if you go to the website and you look at it you'll see where you would appear in the league so as you can see Ross is still top with 215 Harry's fifth on 1182 and somebody worth mentioning is Ben Krellin now, if you're on Twitter, absolutely worth following him. He puts out his ideas on when he thinks the double game weeks are going to be double game weeks, rather, and the blank game weeks, etc. Now, he does get, obviously, quite a bit wrong because he's trying to guess and look into the future. But it is useful to know when these things may happen. And it's a good reminder that there will be plenty of double game weeks coming along. But anyway, he's second at the moment in the content creators. So he's doing very well there. I'm all the way down in 54th. There I am. Uh, an old FPL mate, he's now within the top 50, so he's doing well. As has been pulled into the outside the top 50, he's 51 at the moment, but he's still, what, 14 points ahead of me. So let's see if I can get much worse or if it's going to gradually improve. Just so you know, this is my fourth year of doing the uh, Fancy Premier League. And every year around this time, the first half of the year, I do bad. And it's just... It's just the way I play. Then come January, February, the pattern is I tend to do better. So I'm just assuming I'm going to do better again the second half of this season. And this is game week 19, so it's the halfway mark. So now's the time for me to start improving. So likely transfer. I brought in Sterling. Looks like he's probably injured. So I was always going to bring back KDB. So that's what I'll be doing this week. The captain of my team is, of course, going to be Haaland. That's assuming he doesn't get injured. There's a few non-Premier League games to be played before game week 20 starts. So everything I show you now is provisional. And of course, I won't make any transfers until all the games have been played. But as things stand, Haaland will be my captain. There we go. That looks a... I'm getting confused. <laughs> there we go. And then my vice captain would be Fernandez, But obviously, I'm expecting Haaland is going to be getting a run out so my team as it stands Hullen at the front and then Cancelo now it would be nice to not have Cancelo and have somebody different from Man City at the back either Edison or one of the defenders because Cancelo's just not getting his 90 minutes but it is not worth it in my opinion transferring him out for I don't know Walker or Candy or someone else because what if he does play 90 minutes and 180 minutes he may get a good score and it may be I get in a different Man City defender and they don't keep a clean sheet. And so for me, it's just he's there now. So I'm just going to leave him there. And where I've got Sterling, that will, of course, be Kevin De Bruyne. And then I've also got from Man United, Fernandez, Rashford and Martial. So I went for an attacking trio of Man United players. So those six all have double game weeks uh, for game week 20. I don't have any Spurs players, I don't have any Palace players, and I'm not intending to get any in. I have considered Perisic and Doherty, but going forward after this double game week, I wouldn't really want them. And Kane, he is on four yellows. I know most people are predicting he's not going to get another yellow card in the North London derby, but maybe he will. And it's like, I would have to move several players about in order to get in Kane and at the moment, I'm not that bothered about him. Maybe in a few weeks I will get him, but not for now. So there, I've got six doublers. And then I've got Trippier at home to Fulham and Almiron. It would be very nice to have a third Newcastle player, either Wilson or else possibly Pope at a stretch. Otherwise, never one of the Newcastle defenders. But again, at the moment, the way my team is, it's not worth it for me to shuffle things around. Martinelli is a way to Spurs. Uh, it was a 50-50 really between him and Anketia, but Martinelli's more proven, so I'll be playing him. Bueno, it's between Bueno and Dunk. So Bueno at home to West Ham. Wolves have been a lot better recently, and West Ham is shocking. Dunk is at home to Liverpool, and Liverpool is shocking. So I wouldn't be surprised if either of them keep a clean sheet. So I've got Bueno in there. It may change to Dunk. And I've got Kepper in goal. So on my bench, I have Enketia. I may swap him with Martinelli. I've got Dunk. I may swap him with Breno. And I've got James. I did think about swapping James out this week for, for example, Perisic. But 
I'm right playing Breno. I could swap James next week. There may be double game weeks next week. And if not, James may be back in a few weeks. So as things stand, I'm just making the one sub this week, even though I do have two free transfers available. And there we have it. That is my plan for game week 20, albeit there's a chance for a few injuries yet. And I could have a complete change of mind, but that's what I'm currently going for. So I'm hoping, obviously, Man United get an awful lot of goals and Man City get a lot of goals and I get a lot of returns. And I can get a little bit of a green arrow or a very big green arrow. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>